Can you believe it? The yin and yang is based on opposals, duality. Here's the three, where's my six? Kind of hiding in there. Okay. So there's your three, there's your six. Now watch, they're purpose op perfect opposites. Three doubled is six. Six doubled is twelve. One and two is three. Twelve doubled is twenty-four. Two plus four is six. Twenty-four doubled is forty-eight. Is twelve is three. Forty-eight doubled is ninety-six. Is fifteen is six. It's always one or the other. Half of three is one point five, which is six. Half of that's point seventy-five, which equals three. It's always one or the other. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Say yes. Yes. Good. Okay. But watch this. They never connect. They only connect up there. Um, male and female, there's nothing like back and forth this way. It's all focused on God, okay, or control. It's not whether I'm positive or negative, or whether you're positive or negative, it's whether we're in phase together, synchronized. That's what matters. It's all harmonics, okay? And this is the control. The third part of the yin and yang is the S curve, the nine, which is always invisible. When 9 is positive, 3 and 6 are both negative. And when 9 is negative, 3 and 6 are both positive. Now, I could explain a lot more, but I don't think it would be fair. It would just be a lot. But I'll tell you the use of this. Turns out that if you know what to do with it, it makes the perfect donut. They call it the rodent coil after me. Originally, I named it the flux thruster atom pulser. Every motor needs a coil. And I figured out, and this is a nozzle right here, and I figured out how to make a spaceship out of it. It's called an electrical venturi. It creates a localized space-time implosion. This is a portal. It's irresistible. There's more. I figured out how to turn this into a surface topology. But this gets pretty heavy. Mm, way too heavy, more than what we should be talking about. Except I'll just write in the numbers. Nine, six, eight, seven, five, one, two, four, eight, seven, there'll be a five right there. Three, nine, six, four, two, one, one, eight, nine, one, so that must be a seven, that must be a six. Okay, here's all I'm gonna say, and then I'll let you ask any questions you want, but I understand it's so bizarre. X, Y, Z is a classic Cartesian coordinate system. It turns out that I found that God had left in nature a perfect coordinate system that nobody knows about today, unless my students. And X is vertical, Y is horizontal, Z is uh, tangential, perpendicular, or from the center out, center out. And I was able to put every branch of math every mathematical calculation, everything known into one 3D, it's called sacred geometry shaper model. And then I spent my whole life applying it to perfect artificial intelligence, uh, ending diseases in microbiology, um, creating power to read by, run this building, everything. Anything you want to do. Okay, questions.